Yeah, it's very important to understand those things. Um, Graham and then Alex. Um, you mentioned before, uh, have faith in the process. Um, how does uh, faith in that sense, um, like in what way is that different or is it different from the sort of faith that Christians talk about? Um, it's different in that you can do it through experimentation. Your faith is actually built through your own experimentation. So let's talk about the faith in the process. How do I have faith in something that I haven't tried? Well, obviously I can't, can I? So in that state, that's my hardest state. So I hear all this stuff, sounds good sometimes, the motion stuff doesn't sound that good, you know. I ask a few of our people around, they're saying, yeah, I've had a terrible last week. Oh, I don't know if I want to have a terrible last week. You know, like, I'm, I'm relatively happy how I am. And so we go through all these doubts first and all of this emotional stuff first and then we get to arrive to the point where, yeah, let's give it a go. When you arrive to that point, treat it like an experiment. You're going to get right into your emotions about at least one of the subjects that your law of attraction is bringing to you. So you, whatever the law of attraction. Let's say you're going along the road, Somebody cuts you off, just a simple law of attraction event, right? And you feel anger. So you're going to go into this now. Instead of avoiding it and just swearing at the person and then, you know, stopping there, what we're going to do now is we're really going to not avoid this situation. I'm going to experiment. So when I do my first experiment and my experiment comes out at the end and I realise, wow, I'm driving along the road and nobody cuts me off anymore. Wow, in fact, I'm driving along and people seem to just automatically move out of my way. This is real weird. Like, now I can see my law of attraction has changed and that experiment might have created, and we say might have created, that change in my law of attraction. So now my faith starts to build. Does that make sense? Now I've got one event that happened by processing emotion. I've got one event that happened that seems to have changed in my life. So what I do is I try some more of it. So I go down some more roads of experimenting with my emotion and seeing what changes. So let's say I'm having trouble in my relationship or I'm having trouble with my work situation or whatever it is in my life, then I start, instead of doing my normal effect-based stuff, I decide to deal with my causal emotion and I go through my anger and I go into my fear and then I through my fear and into the other deeper emotion and, oh, my law of attraction has changed on that one as well now. That's two things now. Now, what's your faith going to feel like now? Can you see that it will be a bit stronger, won't it, than what it was when only one thing was dealt with or none thing, no things were dealt with? And then I start wondering, well, what about this prayer to God thing? You know, I don't know if even I believe in God or anything like that, but let's experiment with that as well. We might as well experiment. You know, can't, can't hurt anything. Let's see what happens. And so what we do is we go into this state of experimenting with that as well, all right? What I'm going to do is I say to God, if you exist, I would like to receive some of your divine love. Nothing happens. And then I remember, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to be emotional. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. How do I get emotional on this subject? This is a bit tricky, so I might have to experiment with this for a few weeks or a few months even, right, to be emotional. So what I start doing is I start reading some books, maybe about God or about life or whatever, that are emotional. And then when I'm in the emotion, I feel for God. And then see what happens. And, oh, I feel something change there. Does that make sense? And I can experiment with that. And then over a few months, I notice, hey, I actually feel a little happier than I felt before. And of course the reason why many of you are not feeling a little happy is because we're still stuck in the fear area rather than processing the emotion. See, when you process the emotion, of course you're going to feel happier after the emotion is released. But if you stay in your fear, you're not going to feel very comfortable at all in that place. That's why you spent most of your life trying to get out of your fear, right? Because it's not comfortable in it. <laughs> and we need to go through it into the grief and grieve the emotion. And, and once we've released that, then we can judge how we really feel. Now, as that all starts to unfold, our faith will build. And as we receive divine love, our faith will actually start building as well. You'll actually know you're having a connection with God after a while. But at the start, it's the most difficult because that's when we have the least amount of faith, the least amount of experience, the least amount of trust in all of these different things that we're learning. So does that mean it's like the opposite of the Christian concept of faith? 
Yes. Where, where things like in, in the Christian concept, bad things can happen to you and you just write them off as God's will sort of thing. Yes, and that's certainly the opposite to that. You certainly wouldn't do that. Because it, if bad things are happening to me, I've got to, I've got to look at why are bad things happening to you. When, when I say bad things are happening to you, I mean how are you feeling about the bad things that are happening to you? So if you're feeling triggered, or you're feeling hurt, or you're feeling angry, or you're feeling afraid, you're feeling, all of those things are just emotional attractions. So, you know, we need to deal with them. It's, and faith is actually the opposite concept to what most Christians say, because most Christians talk about blind faith. True faith isn't blind at all. It, it, has, it is purely based on complete substance, because you have proof in your life. And this is... And there's a message in the pageant message that talks about building upon the truth, right? And what happens is when you have one experience, you can say, well, that was one experience. Let's see if I can replicate that experience. And down the track, we experience other emotions. There's another experience. Oh, okay, now we're starting to get a pattern, right? And if we have 5, 10, 15, 20 experiences, now there's a real pattern developing. And now we can ask ourselves, is this pattern loving? And is this pattern emotional? Yes and yes. Well, therefore, there must be some truth in this stuff. So what I'll do is I'll retain these patterns in my memories emotionally and I'll hold on to those... When I say hold on, I will remember the experience of these emotional events. And, and I will build upon them as a basis or as a foundation for truth. You see, what happens with most of us is we have one thing happen then, right? And we have another thing happen then and we think the two events are totally unrelated to each other and we don't build on them as, and we don't sum them together as the total experience. What we do is we treat them as two isolated incidences. But you see, if we started adding them together, we started picking them up and started adding them together, we now start you know, to get a collection of events that we're building truth on, right? And once we've got a collection of events, we can then say, like, okay, it's not just one isolated instance where this has happened, where I've seen the law of attraction at work. Now I've seen it happen this week five times, that it's total, I've noticed it five times. And trust me, in the end, you'll notice it every single minute of your living life. But, but it's great to go through the process of noticing it five times in one week. Wow. What? What, now I can experiment. Oh, okay, I was triggered there with that emotion. Let myself go into that emotion. What's going on with that emotion? And experiment and see what happens. Now, as you see the results of what happens, what's going to happen is that things will change in your life and that will prove to you that your faith was justified. There's no such thing as blind faith. In the end, everything that you have faith in about, if it doesn't happen, then you need to discard it. Does that make sense? But make sure you're practicing it in the loving and emotional way before you discard it. See, most of us go down the track, oh, we try to connect to our emotions, oh, you're yeah, six months later, still not connected to one, I give up now. That wasn't the truth. No, the whole path is dependent upon the emotions. You need to be in an emotional state, so you need to try for longer.